Good morning, guys. It is Kenzie, and it's Friday morning. I have my puppy here. Hi. It's Friday morning. Uh, technically not Veterans Day, but like observed Veterans Day. I don't have any classes today, which is nice. So yeah, it's like a total lazy Friday morning and I love it. Um, I'm making coffee right now and I'm bundled up on the couch with my fur blanket, watching Dr. Phil episodes. <laughs> it's really great. I don't know, but then I have work later tonight and yeah, we also have some guests coming. I don't know if they'll be in the vlogs because it's like my mom's best friend who's basically my aunt, and then her mom, who's my grandmother's best friend. It's really, really cute. And Sunday, I know you guys have all been waiting for this since last vlog. Me and Erica are going to go see David Dobrik. I was watching one of his vlogs and he didn't even mention it. I scrolled down to the comments and his top pinned comment was like, tickets to our Boston show. And I was like, what Boston show? So I clicked on it and it was like, I honestly don't even know what it really is, but in this vlog, you guys will see, hopefully, they let cameras into the arena. I don't know why he would make that a rule, why they can't, but I'm not exactly sure who's going in terms of like people from Davis vlogs, but we're gonna go see. It's gonna be like my first YouTube event where I've like bought a ticket and I'm gonna be seriously fangirling because normally like YouTube events, I'm part of it. But this time I'm so excited where I'm not like part of it and I just like get to sit and actually fangirl and watch and it's gonna be really fun. Hi guys, it's Sunday. <laughs> we're running to David Dobrik because we're so late. Our GPS was so weird. Oh, I can't breathe either. I officially have bronchitis. And it's really hard for me to breathe. Look, look. Oh, it just went away, Joe Biden. I feel like such a fangirl. <laughs> it just hit me. Thought we're about to see David over. Oh my god, I can't breathe. But now you're a part of the vlog squad. Let's bring out our super cute, adorable animal. Where's Cutie? Come in, Cutie's coming. It's a slow food animal. Okay. Now, the point of this game is Jason's mom has to guess what's on, on her, basically. She's gonna get a couple guesses. Do you want to put your arms down? How are you doing? Um, uh, I'm thinking you're Brian and Charlie right now. Like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they can't save you now. <laughs> Jason's like, this is payback. <laughs> All right, my mom does not deserve it. <laughs> what, what, I think it's a snake. What color? Uh, gold. What breed? I don't care. <laughs> It's right here. <laughs> we, the show just ended. It was only an hour long, which seems so freaking weird. I like this lighting. But yeah, we oh, missed- Oh, I just had stuff in my mouth missed, when like, I tried to do that. We missed like 20 minutes of the show. I don't know. I had a panic wasn't, attack in the car. Because we were super late. But it just wasn't worth it to me. I mean, I saw Toddy. He had a shirt on, but. We saw him, correction, if you're gonna buy tickets to the Chicago show, we saw him for like two seconds. But did he come up before? No. He might have come up before. I don't think he did, because all the, the New York show, they said that Jason and David talked the whole time. I don't know. We, how much were these tickets? They weren't expensive. They were 37 and then with tax, it ended up being It was like 40 cent. something, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Why do I look? Oh, I have like this thing. Like, <laughs> that works. Erica, we did it. You mean I did it? Okay, guys, we're gonna vlog. This is gonna fall. How was your experience with the live show, Erica? Um, it was good. 
Uh, I saw Toddy and uh, I fangirled a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. We saw Toddy running. On the street. Erica <laughs> offered him my half-bitten pizza. But he was being mobbed, so. Not I not really mobbed. There was, like, but there was a lot of girls. girls. But there was, like, a lot running yeah, after. Yeah, there was a lot of girls running after him, but there was, like, only three girls surrounding him. Erica was like, Toddy, you want pizza? I'm like, Toddy! <laughs> and then, um. Ah! <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> but for the whole show, like, did you like it? Yeah, um. I mean, your feelings. Uh, Zane was just as funny. Like he was like the exact same personality that I he feel has like in the vlog. He didn't talk a lot though. But like, too. just like the way he acted, like it's very much how he is in the vlogs. Yeah. Like it wasn't any different. Yeah. I mean, I wish there was more like skits. Yeah, exactly. Like it more... was very Q and A. Like, but they only got. He only asked like four questions. Yeah. And they were dumb questions, honestly. Yeah. Like, girl, he's not gonna help you with your whole life. Yeah, she was asking if she should stay in college. It was, I liked it. I liked, like, seeing them live, but, like, yeah. I wouldn't do it again if they came back. Or I'd get better seats. Mm, I don't know. Like, if they were closer. When they, so the lights were turned off, and then when they turned the lights on, Zane was like, oh, my God, there's people in the back. Well, he was like, there's so many people. Like, you, they probably, the lights were down. They probably couldn't see us at all. I didn't know what yes, you were talking there about. 100% there is not. Do you want to put a bet on it? Go ahead. I will bet you $100 right now that there is one. That we passed a Starbucks? That there's one on this road. There might be one on this road, but we did not pass one. <laughs> we just caught a real life argument. I hate her. Well, because when we hang out, we hang Sisters. out for like eight hours a day. All the liars no, are calling that, me one. That. Nobody's heard from me for months. I'm doing better than I ever was. My baby's fit like a daydream. To be honest, I didn't really like the show. I felt like it was cool to see them in person, like I said, but I don't know. I was super, super underwhelmed. Even before I got there, I was like, I feel like I'm going to be really, really underwhelmed. When I bought the tickets, I was really excited. And then I realized that, and I don't want to say this in a conceding way, that I've been to so many YouTube events where I see these people already and then if i go to a show i'm like i don't really care that much if that makes sense like i don't fangirl over youtubers even if they're my favorite youtuber and david is i think his videos are awesome but yeah the only person i've ever fangirled over is ali speed and i saw her at a party in playlist live and it was the greatest moment ever but that was the only person that i told myself even before i saw her that i would fangirl over besides like harry styles or someone and even if i think i saw harry styles i don't think i'd fangirl i don't know i'm i used to be really really hardcore fangirl with ali speed and people called me out for it all the time especially in that moment when i met her um friends would be like why are you fangirling at a party but yeah i don't think i don't know so i don't regret it but like if i were to have the opportunity to buy a ticket even if it were closer like erica said i wouldn't do it sorry and I also can't hear out of my right ear because the girls next to me were screaming so loudly. Oh.